top 10 favorite creepypasta creatures. And uh, by the way, um, some of them might be humans, but you know, if you kill people, you're kind of a creature. So let's get started. Number 10, Devil of Pine Barrens. Now, freaking, it's, it's a devil. It's a devil. Like, it says devil. Like, what, what more do you want from me? It's And it's in the woods. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's this thing. It was like a lost episode kind of base on some of the stories. Sometimes it just talks about him being in the woods. Sometimes I, I, I did just watch the pasta that I did about it. Like, totally. Number nine, Slenderman. Now, this is the most overrated piece of crap pasta of all time. But I live in an area where he's like, yeah, I've totally seen him. Like, that kind of area. So yeah, I'm really in a wooded area. So it, like, scares the shit out of me sometimes. Um, so yes, number eight, Seed Eater. Get it? because he eats seeds I'm just kidding he eats people <laughs> oh I suck at life okay seed eater he he ate people the one story that I've read about him he, he helps this one guy the one guy helps him then one day the, the seed eater is like look dude children aren't cunning anymore I need humans you're my first target and the guy's just like oh that's how the story ends and oh freaking it's great eats people he looks disgusting on top of that number seven mr widemouth first story to make me poop myself um and it wasn't even that bad you know he was like hey jump off a window just do it you won't it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> so yeah it, um he's probably the nicest one of the you know nicest creepypasta people just because he's he was just you know peer pressure and he wasn't making them you know whatever had a good twist at the end i'm gonna let you find out for yourself if you haven't heard it yet number six the rake okay this is slender man 2.0 okay they like let's take slenderman or i don't know which one's been a longer i guess slenderman will be back stuff then let's take slenderman let's uh ditch the tux make him look disturbing and uh yeah have him creepy as hell like slenderman wouldn't scare me he's just a faceless weirdo maybe the static would be annoying but the rake is actually a scary stalker kind of setup okay i mean it's just kind of how it is number five squidward suicide never watching spongebob again number four dover demon almost the same thing as devil of pine barrens but devil of pine barrens is like episode related and and uh, Dover Demon is like basically in the woods. It's like a very mysterious creature kind of thing. And I can't remember where it's located. I went in the woods where it supposedly was though. I mean, there's a ton of different theories that it's actually like this weird animal from South America. That's what got the big eyes. This thing though is described as like an alien kind of thing though. It's really cool. It's really interesting. Um, what, what's the one show called? Ah, uh, jeez. Help me. What, what's the show? You guys won't help me. God, I'm recording alone. <laughs> Oh, I'm uh, freaking, I'm just gonna edit it all out till I figure out facts on file, no, something like that. Whatever, you guys can freaking, yeah, but they covered something about the Dover Demon. Number three, Smile Dog. It's a, it's a dog that smiles. It's all I got. What? It's like, seriously, what, what do you want? Okay, well, Smile Dog, it's, it's, uh, it's a dog, it smiles. It's supposed to make you go insane. Seen it, or at least. I have not seen the supposedly legit one, I guess. I mean, otherwise, I'd just be a psychopath in one night. <laughs> But yes, it's supposedly, it's the big what if thing where it's like, if you look at it, and you'll just be like, oh, it's not real. But then you, you second guess yourself. It's like, what if it's true? It's kind of like one of those things. It's overrated just because it was good while it lasted. It's kind of like Slenderman. It would have been good. It's like everybody. I'm such a freaking hipster. Okay. Number two, suicide mouse dot AVI, the, the mouse, like really you can't walk in a straight line for two minutes and then have your mascot that you grew up with shoot himself in the face and you can't just be like, store was stupid. Especially if you're a hardcore Disney fan like me. Like, you, you <laughs> like, seriously, Lion King is my jam. Like, let alone Mickey Mouse cartoons. So, you know, when I heard that, it just wrecked me for a little bit. And number one is Jeff the Killer. Ah, uh, okay, stop it. Okay, I'm not lying. It is Jeff the Killer. Now, here's the reason why. People with Jeff the Killer take two views. One, it was terrible writing because no 14 year old boy is that capable. You gotta think about it the other way. Like, just look at anime, Dragon Ball Z Goku. Okay, if you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. He is so strong, it's not even, like, legit. Like, every time there's an enemy that's stronger, he just gets stronger. And that's just how it works. So, you gotta look at this as the perspective of, uh, oh, this isn't a, this is a major, you gotta look at it as a perspective of, this 14 year old is the toughest freaking being on the planet. Like, he's like Jason Tough, okay? So if you look about it that way, he's a badass, like, you gotta think about it in that sense. And people that view it as plot holes, well, then just make fun of every single freaking Superman. Oh, he's like, he could fly and like, has super strength, that's a plot hole. It's kinda like, eh, the story wouldn't be entertaining if Jeff the Killer just killed his parents and got caught by the cops. Would that be eventful? I, I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment what top 10 lists I should do next. Top 10 lists are a lot harder. I'd prefer five and like maybe do like a part two on it just because it's easier for me. But yeah, comment if I should, you know, do it again. 
what I should do next. Ugh. And it doesn't even gotta be creepypasta related. You could say, actually don't do food, because I'll spend so much time on that and it would just but it doesn't have to be like it could it's, i'd prefer it to be in the horror genre like maybe scary movies i don't know hmm so i'm still recording how's your day you know i'm just just wondering i don't want to hit the stop button i really don't just want to keep this going forever you know we got a good bond going on i like you you like me we all love each other we're just one big happy family that likes scary stuff and that's cool man it's freaking awesome i've uh, I should just learn all my subscribers by heart and just list them off. Oh, here's the thing. If you want to send me a story or you want to contact me about anything, you could totally do that. Creepypastawizard at gmail.com or uh, Skype. You know, just look at the description. I got all the contact info you'll need to either stalk me or say hi. I'll say hi back. You don't need to worry. I will. Unless everyone. I don't, might, might take a while. Well, you guys have a great day.